Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five awesome glitches and tricks currently working in GTA 5 Online after the nightclub DLC. And as always, these five glitches are very different from one another. So if you guys do enjoy this video and you would like to see me post more videos like this in the future, all I ask is you drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so coming in for the very first glitch, and this is a completely random but awesome glitch to do with the brand new Oppressor Mark II. And this glitch will basically allow you guys to drive upside down whilst on your Oppressor. So all you guys want to do is find any ledge that basically has a rooftop service. A perfect little spot is this little walkway right here on the storm drain. As you guys can see, you just want to drive on the top bit and drive it very slowly over the edge. And boom, <laughs> you should notice your character's bike will start driving upside down definitely feels very weird when you're trying to drive your bike upside down so i would definitely go ahead and try this glitch out and show your friends invite them over i guarantee they'll have no idea how you're driving upside down on the new oppressor Okay, so coming in for the second glitch in this top five, and I've got to say, this is hands down one of the most useful glitches to know, especially if you guys are like me and you actually own an office at the Maze Bank Tower. You might find yourself in a predicament where you're stuck at the top, you've got no parachute, no aircraft, or you might have landed on one of these side balconies. Now, if you guys also like me and you don't like dying in GTA 5 Online, every time I die in the game, it feels like a little tiny part of me dies in real life. So to avoid this, what you guys can simply do is slide down the maze bank. <laughs> yes, you guys heard correct. You can slide down the goddamn maze bank. This is an awesome glitch to try out and show your friends. And it also does work on all the skyscrapers in the game. I'm just using the maze bank as an example because it's the tallest building in the game. But all you guys want to do is simply do as I do on screen. You simply just want to land on one of these balconies, crouch right near the corner, and then very slowly make your way to the edge. Now, as soon as one of your feet are hanging off the edge and you can see your character's body kind of seeping downwards, don't press nothing from here. And what you guys will notice is your character will literally start to slide down the maze bank office tower. Now, the great thing about this glitch is it doesn't only work at one point on one building. There is tons of these ledges all around all of the skyscrapers. However, as you guys can see, my character will literally start to slide down the building. And the best part about it is your friends that are either flying around in helicopters or on the ground floor they will be able to see you literally sliding down the building so if i was you guys i'd just tell them you're beta testing a new grappling feature that rockstar games are looking to release next month but as you guys can see just an awesome and fun glitch to definitely know in the back of your mind in case you guys do need to use it and some of you eagle-eyed viewers out there may notice that my character is actually wearing the night vision goggles without the mask over his face and that's actually a glitch that i'm going to show you guys how to do later on in the video However, moving into the third glitch in this video, and you guys know me by now, what would the top 5 glitches and tricks compilation be without me showing you guys a secret hiding spot, location, or wall breach that you guys can use to avoid the cops or troll some of your friends? So all you guys want to do is make your way to this location on the map. As you guys can see, it's in between the beach, the pier, and the airport, so an extremely popular location. It's actually right next to the helipads in LS. However, once you guys arrive at the location, you just want to locate these rocks and then look for this little gap in between all of the rock and just try and position your character so he's standing in this hole and you guys will notice he'll start to buckle and trip over himself and then out of nowhere he's just slung underneath the map underneath the beach the rock the road there is tons of different areas that you guys can go ahead and explore underneath the map at this area however the best part about this wall breach for me is the fact that no one will be able to kill you whilst you're in here and just to prove so as you guys can see i do go ahead and get a fire 
five star most wanted and not one single police officer can shoot me with a single bullet and of course because you're underground if any online players try and shoot any rpgs at you at the ground they're literally just gonna blow themselves up so an awesome hiding spot for you guys to know and if you guys would like to know how to wall breach inside of any other building in gta 5 online leave a comment down below of the building and i'll link you straight to the video guys probably know i love to show you guys a bunch of clothing glitches and tricks within gta 5 that you can use to make your character look extra unique whether it be like a radio headset some custom snapbacks from bennies you guys do really seem to enjoy these videos as you can combine these glitches with other clothing glitches to come up with some really crazy and unique looking outfits so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can acquire another rare item within gta 5 i'm pretty sure you guys are aware of the night vision goggles as you guys can see on screen now whenever you apply these goggles you get this big mask over your face and it's really hard to combine this with any other outfits as let's be honest here it doesn't look that great with this big mask over your face so in today's video i'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can remove the mask and keep the night vision goggles which in my personal opinion looks so much more better without the mask on and you will also be able to combine other accessories such as chains earrings hats even put sunglasses over the night vision glasses which will just make your character look insanely crazy Okay, so this glitch right here is extremely easy to do. I guarantee 100% of you guys will be able to do this straight away. Unfortunately, it isn't a solo method. You will need one other friend to do this method. So if you guys don't have that many friends that play GTA 5 online, do feel free to come and join my GTA 5 crew. I will leave a link to that down below in the description or just leave a comment on this video. Make sure you leave what console you're on. I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to find the player straight away. However, once you guys have got a friend online, you simply want to head over to any ammunition in the game and simply purchase the night vision goggle as obviously you guys are going to need the goggles to remove the mask. Now, once you guys are wearing the goggles, you simply want to head over to any hairdressers within the game. Now, once you guys arrive at the hairdressers, you want to have the goggles equipped on your character. You want to pull up your interaction menu and simply enable passive mode. Now, once you guys are in passive mode, you want to head inside the barbershop, press right on the D-pad to take a seat in the barber's chair. Now, from here, you don't have to get a haircut. Just sit in this animation for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now, once 10 to 15 seconds passes by in the game, as you guys can see, I'm slightly forward in this gameplay you just want to press start go across to online go down to options and then disable passive mode now once you guys disable passive mode you want to get your friend to stand at the door of the barbershop pull out a gun and simply shoot you in the head so as you boys can see on screen now i've just disabled passive mode my friend is standing at the door because you won't be able to get a gun out inside of the shop that's why he needs to stand at the door make sure he doesn't shoot a bullet until you are off passive mode as it will close down the barbershop and it might not work he should be able to tell straight away when you're off passive mode anyway because your body is usually invisible when you're on passive mode so as you boys can see on screen i'm off passive mode now he misses me for a few shots but finally manages to get me i would definitely suggest getting your friend to try and get you for headshots you want to try and die instantly and then as you guys can see as soon as i respawn in the mask disappears and i'm left with these extremely rare looking night vision goggles now from here all you guys have to do is head back to any clothing store or any owned apartment in the game and simply save this as an outfit and you'll have this saved so you can customize it with different accessories and just create some very rare and unique looking mad outfits Okay, so if you guys have been subbed to me for a while, then you'll know that I love a launch glitch in GTA 5. And going off the feedback, it seems like so do you guys, as they're a great way just to have tons of fun with your friends online, take some crazy snapmatics, or put together some crazy videos on Rockstar Editor. This is a solo launch glitch. It's extremely easy to do, and all you guys will need is a motorbike. This works with every single motorbike in the game. All you want to do is simply head to this location you can see on screen right now. It's right next to the FIB building, right next to that big famous park right in the middle 
hill where the Christmas tree always seems to appear at Christmas. So you guys should be able to find it straight away. Now once you guys arrive at this location, you simply want to look for this random bus stop. And it should be right next to two cash point machines right next to it on the wall as you guys can see on screen. Now from here, all you guys have to do is line your bike up in between the two cash point machines full throttle down the bike so you're going at max speed try and go as fast as you can and you want to pop a wheelie just before you hit into the wall as you guys will see in a second so i'm going forward i pop a wheelie just before the curb and bang as you guys could see my character gets launched straight into the sky pretty much the same height as the building which is just insane it's very easy to do and like i said it might take a few goes getting used to it but once you guys know when to pop the wheelie and you get the right speed you'll do this no problem i'm about to show you guys i repeat it maybe eight ten times Here's Here's a video of my friend even doing it to prove that we was both able to do this very easily and as you guys can see during the daylight so you guys can see more clearly where you have to drive into now one of the great things about this launch glitch you don't have to drive into one specific spot you're about to see my friend drives into the bush this time and it still works so this whole entire wall is just glitched out and i don't know why but it launches your character hundreds even thousands of feet in the air sometimes completely random and crazy i'm sure you guys will be able to have tons of fun doing this with your friends online so as you guys can see this time he's not driving into the bush he's going more towards the concrete door and bang he gets sent into the sky like a plane so there you go guys an extremely easy and fun launch glitch i'm sure you guys will be able to have tons of fun with if you guys have enjoyed this video all i ask is you drop a like down below feel free to subscribe also do feel free to check out some of my other launch glitches i've literally covered probably the most launch glitches on youtube i'm not gonna lie i have tons still working after all the latest patches so i'll leave a link to that playlist down below in the description thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video